The Kuva Nucor versus the Tedet Cycron. Both are beam weapons that pretty much do the exact same thing. They are cousins, but they are slightly different. So in this video, we're going to go over each of these weapons and what they are capable of to come to a conclusion. Which one is better? The Nucor? or the Cycron. Just a quick disclaimer, I'm going to be comparing these two weapons in this video, which means I will be saying either name a lot, and instead of me saying the Kuv, the Nucor, and the Tenet Cycron each time, it's just going to sound annoying eventually, so I'm just going to say the Nucor and Cycron, but just know that I'm not talking about the base weapons, I am talking about the Kuva and Tenet versions. Let's get straight into it. Both weapons are beam weapons. The Kuva Nugal has a base range of 29 meters and the Tenet Cycron has a base range of 28 meters. Both of these can be increased with Runus Extension, which adds an extra 8 meters. Both weapons' main beam chains up to two nearby enemies, but the Nucor chains up to 9 meters from the original target, dealing 50% of the main beam's damage, whereas the Cycron chains up to 7 meters and does 60% of the main beam's damage. The Cycron has innate punch through of 1 meter, and when these beam weapons have punch through, a very interesting mechanic happens. Punch through causes the main beam to chain independently from each additional target hit, which could potentially increase the damage output. Both weapons allow you to still chain the beams off of enemy corpses after you kill them, and they both have a mechanic of ramping up their damage as you fire. I did explain this in my new core video I just released. The new core has 77 magazine capacity with normal ammo maximum, while the Cycron is a battery weapon, meaning infinite ammo and it takes one second to fully recharge your magazine after a 0.5 second delay when you stop firing your weapon. Reload speed mods do speed this up, and ammo maximum mods don't affect the Cycron. So this means the Cycron wins in the ammo department. The new core has innate radiation, while the Cycron has innate heat, which is arguably a lot better as an innate element. The new core has a base critical multiplier of five times, which is massive, and a 7% crit chance, which is quite low. The Cycron only has a 1.8 times critical multiplier, but it has a 20% crit chance, which means it will crit more often. However, the 50% base status chance from the new core versus the 40% status chance from the Cycron makes the new core a slightly better primer, although the Cycron still has quite a bit of status chance. So the new core crits less, but when it does, it hits hard, whereas the Cycron crits more consistently, but only has a slight crit damage multiplier. But overall, the Cycron does do more damage because of the 60% mechanic from the main beam. This is where they kind of balance each other out. So I have thrown all these numbers at you and stat comparisons. So what does this mean? Well, let's look at it like this. What is the new core used for? It's a very versatile secondary that is mainly used as a primer because of the extra microwave effect and the huge status chance this weapon gives. It's also used for Profit Taker, and you can also use it as a damage dealing weapon. The Cycron? Well, technically it can prime, but it's not as good as the new core because it doesn't have the microwave status effect. It's also not a bad crewmate weapon when Eidolon hunting because of the infinite ammo mechanic when killing Vomvalus, and if you are using it for Profit Taker, the same thing applies. It's good for killing enemies and not worrying about the ammo draining. And its main use is damage dealing. But here is the thing, these weapons are actually so similar in damage and priming that you can honestly just use either. Both of them are capable of priming, doing damage, being a good weapon choice for crewmates in Eidolon Hunting and Profit Taker and so on. Now when it comes to the elements that I would suggest for these two weapons, and these two are Magnetic and Heat. Now we go Magnetic for a Primer setup and a Profit Taker setup, and then Heat for a damage dealing build. Personally, I would say get yourself a new core to prime and do profit taker with magnetic and then if you want a beam weapon to do damage then you get the cycron with heat to stack on top of the innate heat because you can scale it quite nicely and it's great for crewmates. But let's say you prefer one over the other then you could just keep the same element choices. Now let's go into the builds of these weapons. Firstly, I just want to make a quick disclaimer. These builds are the exact same for both weapons. They are so similar that whichever one you choose, you can just run the exact same setup. Now with the magnetic new core, this is the Profit Taker setup that we're going to be using. And what we do here is we focus on building viral and heat so that we can get four elements from this, which is viral, magnetic, radiation, and heat. I did just do a new core video with all these builds. So you will probably 
be remember the setup over here. For the mods, we go Hornet Strike for flat damage, Amalgam Barrel to use for multi-shot and dodge speeds, quite nice quality of life. Pistol Pestilence Deep Freeze for Viral, Expel Corpus, which will do more damage to the Spider Crab, and Critical Chance, Lethal Torrent for Fire Rate and Multi-Shot, and Flat Heat to add on heat damage. And then we go Ruinous Extension to extend the beam because it's quite a big boss fight and obviously having some extra beam length is quite nice. And then we go Cascadia Flare because then we can scale off of our heat procs to do a lot more flat damage. Now, when it comes to a primer setup, this is where the new core is a lot better because remember I mentioned the microwave effect, which is really, really good because it is just a free guaranteed extra status effect on top of everything. The mods we go are Mulligan Barrel Diffusion, Anemic Agility for fire rates, Augur Seeker for more status duration. This is really nice to keep these status procs on longer. Sure Shot for status chance, Frostbite, Lethal Torrent, Pistol Pestilence and Scorch. It will give us the exact same elements as the Profit Taker setup, except we have 185% status chance here. With the Beam Weapon, that's quite a lot, and you'll be proccing quite a bit of status effects. And to top it off, we use Secondary Encumber. Now, this is a very expensive arcane, I will be honest, but it is so broken with beam weapons because you literally just apply pretty much all status effects very, very quickly. If you can get your hands on Secondary Encumber, it is so good. However, if you don't have secondary encumber, this is where the new core will always beat the Cycron because it'll have the free extra status effect from microwave from the new core. For the Arcan instead, you can run anyone when it comes to the priming setup. I don't think that they're super important. Maybe most of this for reload speed that will help you quite a bit. Now I have moved over to the Cycron here for the damage dealing setups. And remember what I said to you, the builds are the exact same. So let's say you want to focus on the new core and you managed to get yourself a magnetic new core for priming and profit taker. And then you got yourself a heat new core as well. So you could do damage that works too. The builds are the exact same same so the first one we have over here is a secondary encumber setup so what we're going to focus on here is prime pistol gamma prime target cracker which is going to give us a nice amount of crit chance and critical multiplier and then galvanize diffusion of course to stack up the multi-shot and then galvanize shot this is the special mod for the setup then we go lethal torrent frostbite pistol pestilence and primed heated charge to stack on the heat damage that we already have remember this is a heat cycron that we've added on top of the innate heat from your cycron and then we got ruinous extension over here because we don't need an ammo mutation mod although one thing i will say though if you are going to use the new core for the damage setup please use the ammo mutation because you will burn through ammo with the new core damage setup and the reason why this setup works so well is because when you get all your procs from secondary encumber, after you kill about three enemies, you will see all this direct damage stacking up like crazy when you use secondary encumber against all these enemies. So it just starts ramping up the damage. Now, if you ramp up all these states effects, the setup does the most amount of damage. But if you want a setup that's a lot cheaper and a lot easier to obtain, then you can run the Cascadia Flare setup. Now, what this does is instead of us running galvanized shot we will run a bane and it's the same mods everything's the exact same except we run a bane and what this will do is focus on our heat procs when we start doing massive amounts of heat procs because of the huge status chance we will do massive ignite damage because of the bane and then we run cascadia flare to stack the base damage off of our heat procs which is why we stack on heat over the innate heat of the Cycron. Again, same thing for the new core, nothing changes. If you're running the new core, just change this to a ammo mutation mod. Both of these damage dealing setups are really close in terms of the damage dealing. It just depends on your playstyle and which one you prefer. So the question is, which one is better? Well, the Cycron has infinite ammo versus the new core having an ammo capacity. The Cycron has a healthy status chance with a lot more crit chance, but a lower crit damage multiplier. With Prime Target Cracker, you're only looking at about 3.8 times critical multiplier versus the fat 10.5 times from the new core. But the new core has an extra status effect because of microwave. The only reason the Cycron could be better is because it has punch through, meaning it can double the damage if you chain it through a group of enemies, and its chain beams do 60% instead of 50% damage, and of course, again, the infinite ammo. But with that being said, I personally say the new core is better because of how versatile it is and the fact that you can run all setups on just one element, being the magnetic element. However, that is only if you are running the secondary encumber setup, which is the more expensive. If, or you could go magnetic 
and then add a heat damage mod on and then just go Cascadia Flare, that works too. If you are wanting an optimized setup, Priming and Profit Taker take the new core with Magnetic and for a damage setup, go Cyclone with Heat. That is my conclusion. They both have pros and cons, but are equally capable of doing everything that they are used for. And that's my quick comparison video on these two weapons. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like and subscribe and let me know if you enjoyed this type of video and maybe I'll make more in the future. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.